Look at that suave face, man. There's a reason he titled it the way that he did, I think. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Young Entertainment Specialists. I'm your host, Garrett, and today we are going to talk about another album counting down to Justin Timberlake's new album, Man of the Woods, coming out very soon. I will be doing a album review of Future Sex Love Sounds, which is Justin Timberlake's second studio album, his second solo studio album, let's put it that way. And this is... Hmm... This album came out a little bit before I started getting really into mainstream music once again. I had various musical periods of my life where I was into mainstream and I wasn't. And right now, I'm kind of blended everything together. But when this album came out, I was still kind of semi on the fence of Justin Timberlake's solo take on music. But... Uh, as the album grew in popularity, I started to pay attention a little bit. I don't think it had anything to do with peer pressure. I think I just became more interested somehow. Now, as this album title suggests, it is a little promiscuous. And, yeah. <laughs> but, as I try to do with my album reviews, I try to look at the good and positive side, and I only really note the critiques when I really think that I need to mention them. Of all the singles he has on this album that were marketed as hits, the one that I think that I really enjoyed that took off is My Love, which features T.I. in it. Another song that has a lot of beatboxing in it, a lot of interesting sounds that Timbaland brings into it, and I'm just pretty much riveted. And the music video is actually really cool too. A lot of cool dance sequences in that. Now one song that was released on this album that is a very good song, but I prefer the featured artist version on the deluxe edition version of this album is Until the End of Time that features Beyonce in it. song is so magical i just listen to it and i think i'm in some other lightweight dimension i am just i'm in it i'm synced into this atmosphere and i don't have any cares when i listen to it this addition to that song completes it i think it is perfect this is probably her most perfect feature as an artist with someone else. It's just outstanding. Now one thing that I started noticing when I was observing and critiquing this album is that all the songs that were not marketed as singles uh, that you can find, I didn't find them very interesting or good. It just seemed like they were kind of thrown in there to complete, say, oh, we're going to add a few more songs, and now here's an album. We can't just have six or seven songs. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Now, having said that, there is one song on here that I found at the very end of the album that I was like, oh my gosh. Like, Have you ever known a song where you're just like, that's an amazing song? I didn't know I needed that song in my life, and I didn't know that that song existed that I did want in my life. That song is another song all over again. Give me another chance to write you another song. Take back those things I've done. Cause I'll give you. It is a beautiful, B E A U T full ballad. Amazing amazing song now having put all that stuff together this is what i've got a lot of good singles a little promiscuous not as clean as i would like for the album to be but very creative 
fantastic production, and a few surprises in there. Let's get into the ratings of the album. For production, 88%. For creativity, 80%. For expression and lyrics, 72%. And the overall vibe of the album gets a good. So that's my review of this album, guys. I am looking forward to reviewing the next few albums that he has, and I am really excited for the new album still to come. So let me know in the comments below what do you think of Future Sex Love Sounds. Plenty of space in the comments below, okay? Plenty of space. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember, click right here to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment that'll make you say yes. Let's go.